hands-on with the Apple TV Remote App version 1.1 with iPad support. So today Apple released version 1.1 of its Apple TV Remote App and there are several new features to discuss in this update. One of the biggest changes is the fact that the now playing interface is now fleshed out. So now you have the up next playlist, you can modify that. You can also access lyrics directly from the Apple TV remote app. The playlist feature lets you rearrange up next tracks like this using the drag handles. And you can also tap on one of the up next tracks to skip to that song directly. But the real big addition to version 1.1 of the Apple TV remote app is of course iPad support, which wasn't there in previous editions of the app. Now, one of the cool things about the iPad version is that you can rearrange the buttons by tapping and holding and dragging them to the left, to the middle, or to the right. Now, I already showed you some of the new features pertaining to music playback, such as lyrics and such as the Up Next playlist, but let me show you some of the movie-centric features of the Apple TV Remote app. Of course, if you tap details, you get your now playing interface, you get your box art at the top, your transport controls, information about the movie that you're watching, of course. But now you also gain the ability to view chapters so you can skip directly to a particular chapter with just a tap like that. But you can also select audio tracks and captions for TV shows and movie playback. All you need to do is tap this little button here and then you get direct access to audio tracks and subtitles. And as I showed you on the iPhone version of the Apple TV remote app when controlling music playback, you get the same options on the iPad version. So I've already started playing back a playlist on my Apple TV. I can of course access lyrics for the currently playing song just by tapping show next to lyrics. And I can also hide those lyrics. I can go into up next by scrolling down. And this allows me to see what's coming up next in my playlist. And of course I can use the drag handles to rearrange the tracks inside that playlist. And if I want to, I can tap on a particular song and start playing that song immediately. And the changes that I make in the up next portion of the now playing interface are reflected instantly on the Apple TV. So ladies and gentlemen, that has been an overview of the 1.1 version of the Apple TV remote app for both the iPhone and now the iPad. Let me know what you guys think down below. Do you currently use the Apple TV remote app and will you be using it with the iPad now? Sound off down below. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.